It's an internal document released hours after Ricky Schiffer took aim at the FBI's Cincinnati field office. This is something that is very scary. That's Governor Mike DeWine's assessment of the moves Ricky Schiffer made last week in Cincinnati. Armed with an assault-style rifle and nail gun, the 42-year-old tried breaking his way into the FBI field office on Montgomery Road. When that failed, he led police on a chase that came to an end with Schiffer being shot to death in a Clinton County cornfield. Anytime there's an attack on law enforcement, whether it's local law enforcement or federal law enforcement, the FBI, DEA, and it's something that is, uh, you know, a, just a horrible, horrible thing. And so we certainly, certainly denounce that type of activity. DeWine's reaction is not universal. Certain allies of former President Trump have blasted the FBI for executing a search warrant at Trump's home in Florida and seizing top secret documents. One member of Congress, Paul Gosar, tweeted, quote, we must destroy the FBI. Given the heated rhetoric, that federal agency, along with the Department of Homeland Security, issued a joint intelligence bulletin Friday. It reads in part, the FBI and DHS are aware of an increase in recent threats and calls for violence against federal law enforcement, U.S. government, and judicial personnel. The bulletin also says these threats are occurring primarily online and across multiple platforms. For people who back the blue, the recent developments are difficult to process. We have to back up our law enforcement. We have to support our law enforcement and certainly uh, what happened uh, with the attack on the FBI uh, is a very, very scary thing. Well, the Secret Service has already started to harden security at the White House. The FBI doing the same at its headquarters and also its field offices. Friday security alert warns that family members of public officials could also be at risk. Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. All right.